Hey guys, welcome back to the ninth episode of the Leicester City Career Mode. This episode was huge for us as we got a massive victory versus Liverpool, and that has put us two points ahead of them. And this can be very, very helpful if we want to win the Premier League title. And not only that, we have also made into the quarterfinals of the Europa League, where we face Munchen Gladbach, and both the legs will be played in this episode. And also, we have got the game versus Manchester United in the Premier League, so it's going to be an exciting episode. Episode and let's get started with it. As I said, we've got a game versus Manchester United at the King Power. We'll be getting straight into it. Oh, very important games. I mean, even if we have won that last game versus Liverpool, we cannot afford dropping points. We've got a bit of stamina issues, but I reckon we can deal with it. Looking at that Manchester United team, they've got Rafael Varane. Harry Kane, Donny van der Beek, I mean that team looks solid and uh, it's going to be a tough match but let's win this and try to get that, uh, get closer to that Premier League title. Here's Donny van der Beek, the Dutchman scored versus us the last time we met Manchester United at Old Trafford. Here's Aaron Van Bissaka to Scott McSomney trying to play patiently from the midfield. Harry Kane back to van der Beek, reads it to Rashford, let's see what he does here. Good defending by Kim Kimpembe and we get the ball away once more to Rashford and we know how good Rashford is with his pace and uh, I mean no way Ricardo Pereira was catching him in a million years went for the cross good defending by Wesley Fofana but we gave the ball away to him back uh, he went for Van de Beek Van de Beek but Ricardo Pereira recovered well and got the ball and I mean Manchester United were the better side in this whole game I should say it, it was Jadon Sancho the new signing for them went in for the cross good defending by Cal Machinadoy but the rebound straight fully falls to Scott McSomney here feeds it to Harry Kane and I mean I don't know what Kaspers Michael has done there I mean I don't have a clue how he how he has let Harry Kane score it but anyways 1-0 up, I think so Manchester United do deserve it because they were uh, they were the better side so I can't really say anything 1-0 ahead and now it's going to be an incredibly tough job for us and uh, here it was once more Harry Kane on the attack back to Jadon Sancho back to Kane here the Mane Matic Tony Van de Beek Scott McTominay trying to play it patiently and it is good goalkeeping but on the rebound it is freaking Harry Kane once more I mean I don't know why uh, I mean, Cashbush Michael has been bad in this game, but as I said, I think so. United are the better side in this game, so 2 0 up, and we hardly had any proper chances. Uh, here, they had a throw in, which was taken. Uh, they f did feed, into, uh, feed the long ball to Jaden Sancho, puts in the cross in, goes for the header straight to Schmeichel there, and uh, here it was Callum Hudson Joy uh, driving the ball forward in the second half, feeds it to Pat Sindaka. James Madison, good back pass to Harvey Barnes. Can he score or can he get a shot off? No, Van Bissaka just too strong for him. And it is Kane once more on the attack. I mean, I don't know what Ricardo Pereira has just done there. Given the ball to Rashford, goes for some fake shots there. Uh, feeds it to. Oh my days. Oh my days. What has Kimpembe done? How has he let that ball go? go in in his own net it is, it is a clear own goal and they are, they were the better side it was very clear and therefore obviously with 10 minutes to go it didn't uh, mean anything so I did, did jump to result directly and let's see what the final score is uh, here to Manchester United and it is going to be a 3-0 score and with that we have lost a match to Manchester United I mean, I still cannot digest that we have lost 3-0 to Manchester United. But anyways, we have got massive stamina issues for this one versus Munchen Club back the first leg. The Europa League is also important because it can give us a chance to win a, uh, what is it, silverware. So obviously we have to take it seriously. So I'm going to rotate the squad fully and we have to play basically our second team here because, uh, I mean, we, we haven't got any choice because if we play with this team, it's not gonna be so good so we have made some changes i still want to keep harvey Barnes on the team because i think she's very influential so there we go we're taking a trip to germany and i hope it's gonna be a good one glad back on the attack here with marius fools goes for the shot good save by michael dennis zakari on the rebound one more good save but second time of asking cash michael could not save us but 
think so he did an incredible job at least saving two times so i really don't blame him at this point that it, it was just that clapback were lucky and they got their first goal in this match in the, obviously in the first leg and here it was dennis pratt who found nguisa to pat sandaka our main mania finds harvey barnes and i messed up that attack i mean i don't know why did i uh, pass it to harvey barnes but with that the attack was spoiled and it was clapback on the attack with uh, I'm not sure this. Uh, Nismani goes for the shot, but it is inches wide of going into the goal and getting them the second goal. But a very good save by Schmeichel there. And after that, it was Nguiza found Pat and And when Pat and is through, you know what's gonna come your way. And that is the first goal for us in this match. And it is our number nine, Pat and by an incredible finish past Yen Soma, the, uh, the Swiss goalkeeper and what a beautiful finish was that by him and after that uh, here we had a free kick uh, Soyuncu found Daka, can he score a, a second goal in the second half well it's good save by Yen Soma this time around and uh, obviously we had to uh, take I mean score at least one more goal so that we can have a chance of going through in the uh, quarterfinals but here, the long ball approach worked and I had to take out uh, the strike of Klapak because he got ahead of Kla uh, Westergaard and it was a red card, uh, red card for Yannick Westergaard and I mean, I don't know what to say but they had a free kick which was, was taken by, I'm not sure who it was, but a good save by Schmeichel and denies them the second goal in this match and obviously we had to play with 10 men for the rest of the match, they had a corner after that save, which was taken, put in the box. Good save by Schmeichel. Once more good save. And cash for Schmeichel. Might have just saved us there. And that that, that, that was a good tackle by Nguiza. And I uh, mean, Munch and Glabach after that red card. Where the better side here is Marcus Thuram on the attack with his pace. Puts a cross in. And I don't know how. I'm not sure who it was. But on the near post, I don't know. Uh... How we have not defended it, and it is Munch and Glapak who get the second goal. I mean, if we had all 11 players on the pitch, I'm sure that would not have happened. But, anyways, with that, the match is over. They have the advantage going into the second leg at the King Power, but we still are in this match. And let's see what happens in the second leg versus Munch and Glapak at the King Power Stadium. Up next is Newcastle, we'll be quick simming this one with the second team, we've got massive stamina issues but we have to deal with it and this for this I'm, I'm going to play my second team because I want everyone fit for that uh, big game versus clapback, obviously we have to make a massive comeback. Anyways, we'll be quick simming this one versus Newcastle United and let's hope for a victory and yes we have picked up a strong 3-1 victory. This match can basically decide of the whole season whether we win a silverware or not i mean yeah we're still there in the premier league but this is also a massive game for us we are one goal behind they have two away goals they have a massive advantage but let's make or at least try to make an incredible comeback versus clap back here at home pats and daka gets the ball on his speech let's see what he does can he get a shot yes he can and that shot is an absolute shock it has pats and darker open to scoring for us here at the king power in this absolutely incredibly important match for us versus borussia munchen clapback and what a, what an absolute uh, strike was that in the quarterfinals and it's once more t t lemons find pats and darker can is he kept himself on side yes i think so he's kept himself on side and it is the second goal, 3-2 on aggregate. And I mean, in the in 10 minutes itself, Pats and Daka has turned this tie in our favor. And I mean, I think so. We just have to defend well, and we have enough to go through. But here they had a throw-in taken, a uh, shot, and it was a good save by Schmeichel there, thankfully. And obviously, Borussia Mönchengladbach are a good team. We know that how well they played. Uh, in Germany and here they had a chance to make it 3-3 on aggregate but they narrowly missed uh, and thankfully they didn't score for us and here I don't know how uh, this player was not offside but somehow he was onside and it is the striker who scored for them 3-3 on aggregate and obviously this game will go to extra time if 
the score remains the same but we need not let it remain the same as here it was Callum Hudson Odoi on the attack with his pace gets foul inside the box and it is a penalty for us in the 68th minute of the game not 68 56th minute of the game and it is going to be only one man who's going to take it it is going to be Pat Sindaka can he score versus Yen Soma let's see yes he can top corner no chance for the goalkeeper and hat trick for Pat Sindaka and in an Europa League Quarter final versus Borussia Munchen clap back 4 3 on aggregate. And here to steal elements. I mean, after that goal, it was all we, it was Leicester City. What a beautiful control! And well, 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 I don't know why he took the ball, but the close control on the ball and to smack it home past the goalkeeper. Superb work. And uh, after that, towards the end, obviously, it was once more. Pats and Takash Michael found him with the run. Can he score his fifth goal in this match? Well, absolutely. As I said last uh, episode, that this man is scoring goals for fun. As he's just scored five incredibly important goals for us in this match. 6-3 on aggregate. And with that, game over. And we are into a Europa League semi-final. Thanks to this man on the screen, Pats and Daka. Total, seven total attempts, five goals. Incredible performance and we are into a semi-final of Europa. I mean what an incredible comeback for start versus Gladbach. The best way to sum it up is one man show. Yeah you have heard it right one man show by none other than Batson Dunker. That man has just replaced Jamie Ward in his scoring goals for fun left right and center. Anyways Arsenal Marseille and Real Sociedad are the other teams who progress to the quarterfinals. Next episode, we will be finding out who do we face in the semi-finals. And let's see how we, how we are doing in the Premier League. And I think so Liverpool drop points and we still are in first position. But by a very narrow margin of one point. And next episode, we've got games versus Spurs. We've got Manchester City and obviously I think so there's one more team. There we go Chelsea in the month of April and also that first leg semi-final. So obviously the team will be revealed in the next episode. But for today's episode, that's it. Hope you guys did enjoy this. If you did, please drop a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel if you're new around here. And I will see you guys for the next episode of the Leicester City Career Mode.